International Crop Science Conference and Exhibition is being organized by the Pesticides Manufacturers and Formulators Association of India at Lee Meridian Hotels and Conference Center Dubai UAE from 14 to 15 February. Krishi Jagrin team will also be present at the exhibition. The show provides a stage for agrochemical businesses and trades including biopesticides, laboratories, research institutes, allied chemicals and raw material suppliers and for consultants and researchers. The event creates a platform for Indian enterprises to reach the international market, make new contacts and flourish their business. Hello, I am Shikha Yadav, you are watching Agri Business News. Let's start with the latest updates. Bharat Surtees AgriScience Limited, a group company of Mitsui & Co Limited, Japan has launched its most advanced copper technology, Cosite 3000, among its distributors in Pune. Cosite 3000 is the most advanced and unique copper fungicide with an improved formulation, having a very high concentration of biologically active copper ions. It has enhanced efficacy against a wide range of fungal and bacterial diseases in various crops and provides better and long-duration disease control. TVS Supply Chain Solutions, part of the TVS Mobility Group, has announced the appointment of Ravi Vishwanathan as the MD with effect from February 7, 2022. The changes are in line with the company's commitment to further integrate its business globally and leverage the growing demand for value-added supply chain management services in India. S. Mahalingam, chairman of TVS Supply Chain Solutions, said the organization has a grand vision and these executive appointments will help in realizing the organization's potential and help the company cement its leadership as a technology-led global supply chain player. Kaveri Seeds, an integrated provider of farm solutions focusing on hybrid seeds and micronutrients, has reported a net profit of Rs 9 crores in the quarter ended December 31, 2021, against 7.45 crore in the same period last fiscal, a growth of about 22%. It registered a revenue of Rs 102 crores against Rs 100 crores in the previous fiscal, a marginal growth of 2%. G.V. Bhaskar Rao, Chairman and Managing Director of Kaveri Seeds, said in line with companies' focus, the contribution from non-cotton segment in the first nine months of the financial year has increased to 62% from 53% in the comparable quarter of the previous financial year. Amul plans to set up a green college at Anand to spread awareness about organic and natural farming among the youth generation of farmers along with organic hearts across Gujarat to market and sell organic products. R.S. Sodi, Managing Director of GCMMF, said we are designing courses about organic and natural farming that will be offered at this college. It will also include demonstration projects and later when they finish their training, we will link them with the markets. Mango Point, a company that focuses on preserving and promoting high-quality mangoes and mango products from India, has raised Rs 1.82 crore in a funding round led by the Chennai Angels, Native Angel Network and Kiritsu Chennai. Manjula Gandhi Rubin, co-founder of Mango Point, said the funds raised will be utilized for adopting latest technologies for pre- and post-harvest management through early detection action and in picking the best fresh mangoes and products made thereof for our customers and for expanding our presence in India and key global markets. Jammu and Kashmir government has signed a MOU with the New Zealand G2G, a public sector for transforming the sheep farming sector in the Union Territory. A homestay project in the Union Territory in collaboration with the Oyo Rooms has also been launched in the virtual signing ceremony. Manoj Sinha, Lieutenant Governor of Jammu and Kashmir, said the partnership is aimed at doubling produce in the next three years with substantial increment in quality of livestock products, wool production and introducing processing facilities and value addition to boost income and benefits to Jammu and Kashmir. Soya Bean Processes Association of India has reported that soya meal exports during the October to January period were down 64% on lower crushing and disparity in prices. Exports of the soya meal in the first four months of the oil year 2021 to 2022 were 3.62 lakh tons compared with 10.03 lakh tons in the same period last year. Farmers, targets and traders are holding back soya bean expecting an increase in prices. Corteva AgriScience has announced Hawaiza Active as the brand name for the newest fungicide to come from its robust innovation pipeline. The active ingredient will offer South American farmers another tool for controlling Asian soybean rust and other fungal diseases. Suzanne Wilson, president of cropper protection business platform at Corteva AgriScience, 
said Hawaza Active demonstrates Corteva's agri-science commitment to bringing farmers innovative, sustainable, geographical, diverse products from our robust pipeline. Center has approved the formation of 40 FPOs in the bamboo sector to encourage small and marginal farmers to take up bamboo plantations and link the farmers with the market value chain in Assam, Maharashtra, Madhya Pradesh and Odisha. Nafed has been designated as the implementing agency for 29 FPOs in the four states. For more such agri updates, keep watching Krishi Jagrin Business. Thank you.